Darkness shrouded the ancient stones of Ravenwood Manor, its gothic spires piercing the moonless sky like jagged teeth. The night was unnaturally still, as if even the wind dared not whisper the secrets that lay within the estate's crumbling walls. Samantha Ray stood at the wrought iron gates, her heart pounding in her chest. She had sworn never to return to this place, to the town that had stolen so much from her. But the disappearances had forced her hand, drawing her back into the tangled web of her past. The manor loomed before her, a hulking beast of weathered stone and stained glass. Its windows stared down at her like soulless eyes, dark and forbidding. Samantha shivered, pulling her coat tighter around her shoulders. She had spent years running from the memories, from the unanswered questions that haunted her dreams. But now, standing in the shadow of her family's legacy, she knew that the time for running was over. The truth lay somewhere within those walls, waiting to be uncovered. And Samantha was determined to find it, no matter the cost. With a deep breath, she pushed open the gates, the rusted hinges groaning in protest. The gravel path crunched beneath her feet as she made her way towards the manor's massive oak doors. But as she reached for the iron knocker, a sudden movement caught her eye. Iger stood in the uppermost window, a silhouette against the candlelit glass. Samantha froze, her breath caught in her throat. The figure turned, and for a moment their eyes met. Even from a distance, Samantha could feel the intensity of that gaze, the weight of secrets left unspoken. And then, as quickly as it had appeared, the figure vanished, leaving Samantha alone in the darkness. The manor seemed to loom larger, its shadows deepening, reaching out to envelop her. Samantha's heart raced, her palms slick with sweat. She knew with a bone-deep certainty that the figure in the window had been waiting for her waiting to drag her into the depths of Ravenwood's darkest secrets, into a legacy of sin and terror that would never let her go. With a trembling hand, Samantha reached for the door, the ancient wood cold beneath her fingers. She had come too far to turn back now. The truth waited on the other side, and she would face it, no matter the horrors that lay ahead. As the door swung open with an ominous creak, Samantha stepped over the threshold, into the waiting darkness of Ravenwood Manor, and as the door closed behind her with a thud of finality, she knew there was no turning back. The shadows had already begun to gather, and the secrets of her past were waiting to be revealed, one terrifying truth at a time. The air inside the manor was thick with the scent of decay, of secrets long buried. Samantha's footsteps echoed through the cavernous foyer the sound swallowed by the oppressive silence. She cast a wary glance around, taking in the faded grandeur of the once opulent estate. Dust-covered portraits hung on the walls, their eyes seeming to follow her every move. The faces were familiar, a twisted reflection of her own features. The Ravenwood lineage, staring down at her from the shadows of history. Samantha shook off the eerie sensation and focused on her task. She had to find answers, to uncover the truth behind the disappearances that plagued Willowbrook. The manor held the key, she was certain of it. She made her way through the labyrinthine halls, each room more unsettling than the last. Cobwebs clung to antique furniture, and the floorboards groaned underfoot, as if protesting her intrusion. As she rounded a corner, a sudden chill ran down her spine. There, at the end of the corridor, stood a figure cloaked in shadows. Samantha's heart leapt into her throat, her pulse pounding in her ears. Who's there? She called out, her voice trembling. The figure stepped forward, the dim light casting a ghastly pallor over their features. Samantha's eyes widened in recognition, her blood running cold. Damien, she whispered, her voice barely audible. Her stepbrother, the enigmatic owner of Ravenwood Manor, stood before her, a dark smile playing on his lips. He had always been a mystery, even when they were children. But now, seeing him amidst the gloom of the estate, Samantha sensed a malevolence that made her skin crawl. Samantha, Damien purred, his voice smooth as silk. I knew you'd come. The past has a way of calling us home, doesn't it? Samantha stood her ground, fighting the urge to flee. I'm here for answers, Damien. The, the disappearances, the secrets of this place.
Why are you? Damien's smile widened, his eyes glinting with a predatory light. Oh, dear sister, you have no idea what you've stumbled into. The secrets of Ravenwood are not for the faint of heart. He took a step closer, his presence overwhelming in the confined space. Samantha's breath caught in her throat, her heart hammering against her ribs. But perhaps it's time for you to learn, Damien continued, his voice dropping to a whisper. To name, to confront the sins of our ancestors, the darkness that runs in our blood. He reached out, his fingers grazing Samantha's cheek. She flinched at the contact, a shiver running through her body. Damien's touch was cold, almost lifeless. Come with me, he murmured, his breath ghosting over her skin. I'll show you the truth, Samantha. The truth that will shatter everything you thought you knew. Samantha hesitated, torn between revulsion and a morbid curiosity. The secrets of Ravenwood called to her, whispered in the shadows of her mind. She had to know, had to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. With a shaky nod, she allowed Damien to lead her deeper into the manor, into the heart of the darkness that pulsed within its walls. Each step felt like a descent into madness, a plunge into the abyss of her family's twisted legacy. And as they walked, Samantha couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched, that the portraits on the walls were alive with malevolent intent. The manor itself seemed to breathe, to pulse with an unholy energy that seeped into her very bones. Deeper and deeper they went, the shadows growing thicker, the air heavy with the weight of unspeakable horrors. And with each step, Samantha knew she was drawing closer to a truth that would shatter her world, a revelation that would change everything she thought she knew about herself and her family. But there was no turning back now. The darkness had her in its grasp, and the secrets of Ravenwood were waiting to be unveiled, one terrifying revelation at a time. The descent into the bowels of Ravenwood Manor was a journey into the heart of darkness. Samantha followed Damien through winding corridors and down narrow staircases, the air growing colder with each step. The walls seemed to close in around her, the shadows deepening, as if the very fabric of the house was alive with malevolence. Damien moved with a sinister grace, his footsteps echoing in the stillness. Samantha's mind raced, trying to make sense of the twisted path that had led her here, to the secrets that lay buried within her family's past. At last, they reached a heavy wooden door, its surface marked with strange symbols and ancient runes. Damien paused, his hand resting on the iron handle. He turned to face Samantha, his eyes glinting with a dark hunger. Beyond this door lies the truth, he whispered, his voice a seductive purr. The truth of our family, of the power that courses through our veins. Are you ready to face it, Samantha? Ready to embrace your destiny? Samantha's heart pounded in her chest, her breath coming in short, ragged gasps. She knew she should turn back, flee from the madness that lurked within the manor's walls. But the pull of the truth was too strong, the need to uncover the secrets that had haunted her for so long. With a trembling nod, she watched as Damien pushed open the door, revealing a chamber bathed in an eerie crimson light. The room was circular, its walls lined with ancient tomes and strange artifacts. In the center, a stone altar stood, its surface stained with dark, rust-colored splotches. Samantha's eyes widened in horror as she realized the true nature of the stains. Blood, ancient and long-dried, the remnants of unspeakable rituals and sacrifices. Damien moved to the altar, his fingers tracing the arcane symbols carved into the stone. Our ancestors were more than mere mortals, Samantha. They wielded power beyond imagination, power drawn from the darkest depths of the human soul. He turned to face her, his eyes alive with a fanatic gleam. And now, that power is ours to claim. The disappearances, the women who vanished without a trace, they were mere vessels, sacrifices to fuel the ancient magic that sleeps within these walls. Samantha's stomach churned, bile rising in her throat. The horror of Damien's words washed over her, the true extent of her family's depravity laid bare. She shook her head, backing away from the altar, from the madness that threatened to engulf her. No, she whispered, 
her voice trembling. This is insanity, Damien. We can't be a part of this, of the evil that our ancestors wrought. Damien's laughter filled the chamber, a sound that chilled Samantha to the bone. Oh, but we already are, dear sister. It's in our blood, our very essence. You can feel it, can't you? The darkness that calls to you? The power that whispers in the shadows of your mind? He stepped closer, his hand reaching out to caress Samantha's cheek. She flinched at his touch, her skin crawling with revulsion. But even as she recoiled, a part of her yearned to lean into his caress, to surrender to the dark seduction that pulsed within the room. Embrace it, Samantha, Damien murmured, his lips brushing against her ear. Embrace the legacy of our family, the power that is rightfully ours. Together we can unlock the secrets of Ravenwood, harness the ancient magic that sleeps within these walls. Samantha's mind reeled, torn between horror and a twisted fascination. The darkness called to her, whispered promises of power and knowledge beyond her wildest dreams. But the price, the cost of surrendering to that darkness, was a weight that threatened to crush her very soul. As Damien's hand tightened on her arm, pulling her closer to the altar, Samantha knew she stood on the precipice of a choice that would define her very existence. To resist the pull of the darkness, to fight against the evil that ran in her blood, or to surrender to the seductive whispers of power, to embrace the twisted legacy of Ravenwood and all the horrors it entailed. The crimson light pulsed around them, the chamber alive with an unholy energy that seeped into Samantha's very bones. And as Damien's lips descended upon hers in a searing kiss, she felt herself teetering on the edge of the abyss, the darkness rising up to claim her, body and soul. Samantha's mind reeled as Damien's lips claimed hers, the kiss a searing brand of darkness that threatened to consume her. She felt the pull of the ancient magic, the seductive whisper of power that thrummed through the chamber. It called to her, promising untold knowledge and the ability to bend reality to her will. But even as the temptation surged within her, Samantha's rational mind fought back, screaming in defiance. She tore herself away from Damien's embrace, her breath coming in ragged gasps. The room spun around her, the crimson light pulsing like a living heart. No, she whispered, her voice hoarse with fear and determination. I won't be a part of this madness, Damien. I won't let the darkness claim me no matter the cost. Damien's eyes flashed with anger, his handsome features twisting into a sneer. You fool, he hissed, his voice dripping with venom. You would turn your back on the power that is rightfully yours. On the legacy of our family? He advanced on her, his movements predatory, filled with a dark hunger. The rituals, the sacrifices, they were all for this moment, Samantha. To awaken the ancient magic that sleeps within Ravenwood, to harness its power and bend the world to our will. Samantha backed away, her eyes darting around the chamber, searching for an escape. But the walls seemed to close in around her, the shadows deepening with each passing second. And our mother? She asked, her voice trembling. What happened to her, Damien? Did she fall victim to this madness? To the darkness that consumes this place? Damien's laughter filled the chamber a sound that chilled Samantha to the bone. Oh dear Samantha, our mother was the key to it all. Her blood, her sacrifice, was the final piece of the puzzle. She unlocked the true power of Ravenwood, the magic that had lain dormant for centuries. Samantha's heart shattered, the weight of Damien's words crushing her very soul. Her mother, the woman she had searched for, longed for, had been nothing more than a pawn in the twisted game of her family's legacy. Tears streamed down her face as she faced Damien, her eyes blazing with a newfound resolve. I won't let you win, she declared, her voice steady despite the pain that threatened to consume her. I'll stop you, Damien. I'll put an end to this nightmare, once and for all. Damien's smile was a cruel twist of his lips. You can try, dear sister. But... You forget, the power of Ravenwood flows through my veins. I am the master of this place, the heir to our family's dark legacy. He raised his hand and Samantha felt an invisible force slam into her, 
throwing her back against the chamber wall. Pain exploded through her body as she crumpled to the ground, her vision swimming with shadows. Damien loomed over her, his eyes alight with a malevolent glee. You cannot stop me, Samantha. The ritual is almost complete, and soon, the true power of Ravenwood will be unleashed upon the world. He turned away, his attention drawn to the altar, where a swirling vortex of crimson energy had begun to form. The chamber trembled, the ancient stones groaning under the weight of the dark magic that pulsed within. Samantha struggled to her feet, her body screaming in protest. She knew she had to act, to find a way to stop Damien before it was too late. Her mind raced, desperately searching for a solution, a way to put an end to the madness that threatened to engulf them all. And then, like a bolt of lightning, it hit her. The key to defeating Damien, to breaking the cycle of darkness that haunted Ravenwood, lay in the very thing he sought to control. With a final, desperate surge of strength, Samantha lunged forward, her hand closing around an ancient artifact that lay upon the altar. The moment her fingers touched its surface, a blinding light filled the chamber, a searing energy that seemed to burn away the shadows that clung to every surface. Damien's scream of rage and pain echoed through the room, his form writhing as the light consumed him. Samantha held on tight to the artifact her own body trembling with the force of the power that surged through her. And as the light faded, as the chamber fell still once more, Samantha knew that the battle was far from over. The artifact in her hand pulsed with a strange energy, a power that both terrified and exhilarated her. She had taken the first step, had begun to unravel the twisted web of her family's legacy. But the true test lay ahead in the darkness that still lurked within Ravenwood's walls. With a final glance at the chamber, at the altar that had once been the center of such unspeakable evil, Samantha turned and fled, the artifact clutched tightly to her chest. She had to find a way to end this, to put an end to the horrors that had claimed so many lives. But even as she ran, she could feel the darkness nipping at her heels, the shadows of Ravenwood reaching out to drag her back into their embrace. Samantha raced through the twisting corridors of Ravenwood Manor, her heart pounding in her chest. The artifact pulsed in her hand, its energy a searing reminder of the power she now wielded. Behind her, the echoes of Damien's screams faded into the shadows, swallowed by the oppressive darkness that clung to every stone. She had to find a way out, to escape the clutches of the manor before it was too late. But even as she ran, the walls seemed to shift and change, the corridors twisting and turning in impossible ways. It was as if the house itself was alive, a malevolent entity determined to keep her trapped within its grasp. Samantha's mind raced, desperately searching for a way to break free, to put an end to the nightmare that had consumed her family for generations. And then, like a whisper in the darkness, a memory surfaced, a fragment of the research she had done before venturing into Ravenwood's depth. The crypt, the ancient tomb that lay beneath the manor, was the key. It was there that the darkest rituals had been performed, where the blood of innocence had been spilled to fuel the twisted magic that pulsed within the estate's walls. With renewed determination, Samantha turned her steps towards the lower levels, descending deeper into the bowels of the manor. The air grew colder, the shadows thicker as she made her way through dank passageways and crumbling stone stairways. At last, she reached the crypt, a cavernous chamber filled with the stench of decay and the whispers of the damned. The walls were lined with ancient sarcophagi, their surfaces carved with grotesque symbols and leering faces. In the center of the room an altar stood, its surface stained with the blood of countless victims. And there, standing before it, was Damien, his eyes alight with a malevolent hunger. You cannot stop me, Samantha, he hissed, his voice echoing through the chamber. The power of Ravenwood is mine to command, and with it, I will reshape the world in my image. Samantha's grip tightened on the artifact, the pulsing energy within it a reminder of the power she now held. No, Damien, she said, her voice steady despite the fear that coursed through her veins. This ends now. I won't let you continue this madness, this cycle of darkness that has claimed so many lives. Damien's laughter filled the crypt, 
a sound that chilled Samantha to the bone. You fool, he spat, his face contorting with rage. You think you can stand against me? Against the power that flows through my veins? He raised his hand, and Samantha felt the air around her grow heavy, the shadows twisting and writhing like living things. But even as the darkness closed in, she held fast to the artifact, its light a beacon of hope in the overwhelming gloom. With a cry of defiance, Samantha unleashed the power within the artifact, a blinding burst of energy that slammed into Damien, sending him flying back against the altar. The chamber shook with the force of the impact, the ancient stones cracking and crumbling under the onslaught. Samantha advanced, the artifact held high, its light bathing the crypt in a searing glow. It's over, Damien, she declared, her voice ringing with a newfound strength. The power of Ravenwood ends here with us. We will break this cycle, once and for all. Damien struggled to his feet, his face a mask of hatred and rage. Never, he hissed, his fingers clawing at the air. I will not be denied my destiny, my birthright. The power is mine and mine alone. He lunged forward, his hands outstretched, a dark energy crackling at his fingertips. But Samantha was ready, the artifact pulsing in response to her will. With a final devastating blast of light, she struck Damien down, his body crumpling to the ground like a puppet with its strings cut. The chamber fell silent, the only sound the heaving of Samantha's breath and the faint crackling of the artifact's energy. She stood over Damien's still form, her heart racing, her mind reeling with the enormity of what she had done. But even as relief washed over her, a flicker of movement caught her eye. There, in the shadows of the crypt, a figure lurked, watching her with eyes that glinted with a familiar darkness. Samantha's breath caught in her throat as the figure stepped forward, the dim light revealing a face she had never thought she would see again. Mom? She whispered, her voice trembling with disbelief and a rising horror. The woman smiled, a twisted mockery of maternal affection. Hello, my darling, she purred, her voice a sibilant whisper that echoed through the chamber. You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? The power of Ravenwood cannot be destroyed, only transferred. She raised her hand and Samantha felt the artifact in her grasp grow hot, its energy pulsing with a renewed intensity. And with a sinking realization, she understood the true depth of the nightmare she had unwittingly stepped into. The cycle of darkness, the legacy of Ravenwood, was far from over. It had only just begun, and Samantha was now at its center, the unwitting inheritor of a power she had never sought. As her mother's laughter filled the crypt, Samantha knew that the true battle lay ahead, a fight not just for her own soul, but for the fate of all those who had fallen victim to Ravenwood's insatiable hunger. The shadows closed in, and Samantha steeled herself for the horrors yet to come, the artifact clutched tightly in her hand, a symbol of the burden she now bore. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting a blood-red glow over the sprawling grounds of Ravenwood Manor. Samantha stood at the edge of the estate, her gaze fixed on the ancient structure that loomed before her. The events of the past few hours played through her mind, a kaleidoscope of horror and revelation that threatened to overwhelm her. She had emerged from the crypt, the artifact clutched tightly in her hand, her mother's laughter still ringing in her ears. The power that coursed through her veins was a double-edged sword, a burden and a responsibility that she had never asked for. Samantha knew that the true nature of her family's legacy was far darker than she had ever imagined. The cycle of ritual and sacrifice of dark magic and unspeakable horror stretched back generations, a twisted web that had ensnared countless innocent lives. And now, she was at the center of it all, the unwitting inheritor of a power that threatened to consume her very soul. As she stood there, the weight of her newfound knowledge pressing down upon her, Samantha heard the soft crunch of footsteps behind her. She turned, her heart leaping into her throat, only to find herself face to face with a familiar figure. Jack, she breathed, relief washing over her at the sight of her childhood friend, the one person she had always been able to count on. Jack's eyes were filled with concern as he took in her disheveled appearance, the haunted look that lingered in her gaze. Samantha, 
he said softly, reaching out to take her hand. What happened in there? What did you find? Samantha shook her head, the words catching in her throat. How could she even begin to explain the horrors she had witnessed, the twisted legacy that now rested upon her shoulders? But as she looked into Jack's eyes, she saw a glimmer of understanding, a flicker of the bond that had always existed between them. And in that moment, she knew that she didn't have to face this alone. It's a long story, she said, her voice trembling with exhaustion and emotion. But I need your help, Jack. I can't do this on my own. Jack's grip tightened on her hand, a silent promise of support and unwavering loyalty. You don't have to, he said firmly. I'm here for you, Samantha. Whatever you need, whatever it takes, we'll face it together. Samantha felt a surge of gratitude, a flicker of hope amidst the darkness that threatened to engulf her. She knew that the road ahead would be long and treacherous, that the shadows of Ravenwood would never truly be banished. But with Jack by her side, she felt a renewed sense of determination, a steely resolve to confront the demons of her past and forge a new path for herself. Together, they turned back to face the manor, the artifact pulsing with a steady rhythm in Samantha's hand. The secrets of Ravenwood had been unlocked, the cycle of darkness exposed. And now, it was up to Samantha to find a way to break that cycle, to put an end to the horrors that had claimed so many lives. She knew that it would not be easy, that the temptations of power and the whispers of dark magic would always be there, lurking in the shadows of her mind. But she also knew that she had the strength within her to resist, to fight back against the darkness that sought to claim her. And with Jack's unwavering support, she knew that anything was possible. As the last rays of the setting sun dipped below the horizon, Samantha and Jack set off down the winding path that led away from Ravenwood Manor. The road ahead was uncertain, the challenges that awaited them unknown. But one thing was clear, the shadows of Sin's past would not define Samantha's future. She would forge her own path, guided by the light of truth and the strength of the bond she shared with those she loved. And though the darkness of Ravenwood would always be a part of her, Samantha knew that it did not have to consume her. She had the power within her to rise above, to create a new legacy, one born of hope and resilience in the face of unimaginable horror. With each step, Samantha felt the weight of the past begin to lift, the shadows of Ravenwood receding into the distance. And as she walked hand in hand with Jack, she knew that no matter what the future held, she would never face it alone. The sun had set on the secrets of Ravenwood, but for Samantha, a new dawn was breaking, a promise of hope and redemption that would guide her through the darkest of nights and into the light of a brighter tomorrow.